All right, hi, this is Simon from the Red Ferret, and this is Emmanuel on the Man Cave, and today we have something special for you. Today we're checking out a 4K projector um, in order to see if using a 4K projector for gaming is any good, because we all know that a television is best. Most people say that a television is best. But what if you would have a 4K projector with a very big screen yeah. in your room? For that, of course, you need a very big white wall or a screen, yes. but uh, if you have that, you can actually have a huge television to play your games on in 4K. Yeah. So this is not cheap, of course, this is around $1,500 for this projector in 4K, but you get some amazing video footage or gaming footage, as you can see right now on the screen. Emmanuel is playing Spider-Man in 4K yeah. in a very well-lit room. And what did you think about it, uh, Emmanuel? Perhaps we should say that first, this is a room we cannot close off. We cannot yes. put any shutters or anything, but still it was no problem for the monitor. It's so sharp, you can actually really see very well what is happening. You see Spider-Man is not doing anything right now, but it was no problem whatsoever to play even in a well-lit room. So it's actually a very good projector. It has very good uh, quality of image. This is a PS4 Pro that is attached to it because then you have the 4K resolution and it, it's actually very nice. Together with the projector, you can really see the image is really sharp. This is the, the way it's meant to be played, I think. Very big screen and 4K quality. Of course, this is a 4K projector for gaming. But what if you have a smaller room, so you need short throw and maybe a bit more frames per second? Well, then the W1210ST comes in best, I think. This is more a projector for general use, gaming, of course, 4K. It's perfectly fine for that, but maybe for hardcore gamers who play online, you might have a bit of input lag. But for watching movies, this is perfect. Uh, for uh, watching TV shows, it's perfect. Yeah. Uh, very cinematic, very sharp, very clear, and would definitely recommend it uh, if you're looking for something for in your room, not for a first projector. No. If you go for a first projector, maybe the uh, W1050, it's 1080p, it's not that expensive, but for a 4K projector, it's expensive, but it really does the job. The W1700 is, is a very good one, but of course, if you don't have a PS4 Pro, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have the Xbox One X or something else that can project 4K images, it's a bit of a high price uh, yes. and you don't gain it because it's, uh, well, if your console is not able to project these kinds of images, then uh, it's not worth the price actually. But if you can play in 4K, this is actually a very good device. The W1700 is also pretty special because it won the ASA award for best buy projector, which means that this projector is uh, the best buy for the price. Again, a very high price. We're also checking out two speakers. The volume on the projector itself without external speakers is okay. You don't get a lot of bass. Uh, you don't get that sharp of a volume because you have those motors inside that make a lot of sound and that get very hot. So you'll need external speakers. So um, energy system hooked us up. We have one speaker over here. You'll see that right now, which is a little broken. Not the fault of energy system, but the fault of the delivery people. Uh, so that's a bummer, but hey, we got two. And the amazing thing about these is uh, they work via Bluetooth or via cable. I've put them in via auxiliary cable and they connect with each other. So you only need to connect one of these bad boys and then they connect via each other. So you have the left and the right speaker. What did you think about the sound quality? Because it was very loud and a lot of bass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very good, we were doing Spider-Man and in this mission we had to fight off waves of enemies and they come from different directions of course and you can actually through the speakers you can hear what direction they are coming from so the sound is very good it gives you uh, it, it puts you into the experience if you are i suppose watching a movie as well but especially when we were playing this game So it's very good, it gives you kind of surround quality, yes. you know, like you would be in a movie theater or playing a game, uh, really connecting the sound from all the different sides. Right. Now the main question I think is, would you, Emmanuel, you've, you've tried it, would you suggest buying a 4K projector or buying a 4K television? Because it has some drawbacks, you'll need a lot of room mm. if you stand in front of the projector, as you can see, you can't see the screen, 
it, it needs to be a little darker mm -hmm. than usual. Right now, of course, it's perfectly fine. But if uh, the room could get a little darker, it will be even better. So those are the main issues. Yeah. Really. I think uh, three things to, to bear in mind. One, if you have $1,500 uh, or euros to spend, that's important. Two, if you have enough room, because uh, if you only have a small room, then you're better off with a television, I think. Mm -hmm. And three, uh, it depends on, on how much uh, trouble or bugging uh, you will have in the room. If you have kids or something uh, coming into the room, yeah. then I think you're better off with the television because it will not be worth it. But if you really want to be immersed in the experience, if it's a movie or a game or whatever, then this might definitely be something for you if you're willing to pay 1,500 euros. I think this 4K projector comes closest to a real cinematic experience yeah. besides a real cinema, of course, because if you get yourself a nice couch, you get some popcorn, you get some coke, you put on a 4K television so show or a movie, you dim all the lights, you'll have an amazing experience, I think, if you have a good wall or a good projection screen. So yeah, this projector is actually very good for the price, again, not cheap, but of course, it's a 4K projector. A television, a television costs also costs around $1,000, I think. But you can go up to 100 inch in screen size on this thing. Yeah. So, pretty nice. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike and tell us why so we can improve our videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. All right, uh, I'll close this off in the way Simon normally does. Uh, if you like this video, uh, leave a like below. Uh, if you didn't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hope to see you soon. Uh, and please share this to as many people as you can and tell them how good we are. All see right. you soon. Thank you. Bye.